I first say that uh, uh, the presentation by Michael was so complete, so detailed, so holistic, that I would say that many other countries, like Belgium, for instance, uh, do more or less the same. But I'll try to be a bit more concrete, and I must say that uh, out of the 10 lessons proposed by the OECD, some of them have already been included in the way we do. But, okay, then uh, um, uh, preliminary warning, um, just a, a little lesson of institutional uh, knowledge in Belgium um, to understand what follows. You know that Belgium is a, a federal state, which means that there are two levels of approaching the topic and the issue. The federal government is a competent for uh, the uh, asylum seekers for foreign and migration policies. But then uh, the, the, um, uh, the work, the employment policies are dealt with at the regional level. So uh, I, I will work for the Walloon region, uh, sorry, um, make my presentation for Le Forem, which is the, the PS for the southern part of, uh, of Belgium, so Walloon region. But I must say that I also speak for Flanders and Brussels, because we are all united in uh, Sinner job. Um, and we have more or less the same procedures and the same way of dealing with the refugees and uh, the migrants. So, um, what ha my, my presentation will be very concrete, what we do. So, in Belgium, since the beginning of uh, 2015, up to now, we have uh, welcomed more or less 35,000 um, asylum seekers. So, it's not much compared with other countries. Among them, um, I, I, I should say that more or less 10,000 have come to Wallonia. Among 10,600 uh, have had the status of refugees and are then uh, liable to enter the labour market. Because in Belgium you have to wait six, now four months, to enter the labour market. And finally, 100 of them have been taken in charge very, in a very personalized way by Le Forem. So you have understood, and we are at the very beginning of the procedures. So don't ask me for evaluations uh, because we are just at the very beginning of the process. Well, um, the PES Forum is, and um, this has been said uh, by Mr. Scarpetta, uh, a big organizer. You know, we organize uh, the hosting, the, 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 the access, uh, access to the labor market by the refugees with other partners from all levels, ONGs, social partners, uh, associations, mun municipalities. And so, before, uh, I would like to, to do a short break and show you a video because the federal government has asked public and private organization to take the candidate refugees into charge. The centers, the hosting centers are all over the country. They don't have the choice at the beginning. They are directed to uh, centers and some of them, I, I, I can't say how many, some of them have been uh, are hosted in a town which is called Moucron. It's in the southern part of the country. And Le Forum over there has organized the work with a series of local and regional partners. So before I, I, I go on, I'd like to show you, it lasts for uh, four minutes, how we are on the field concretely organize the job with our partners. <music>
migrant sur son sol, plus particulièrement dans un centre de refuge, centre qui est géré par une entreprise privée qui est l'entreprise Bridgestock. Alors, je pense pouvoir dire sans me tromper qu'à Moucron, il y a vraiment eu une volonté très affichée, mais une volonté tant politique qu'institutionnelle, qu'associative et que citoyenne. Euh, donc, il y, a, il y a quelques temps, en octobre et novembre dernier, des migrants sont arrivés sur le sol moucronois. Alors, il y a une plateforme au niveau de la ville de Moucron qui s'est mise sur pied. Différents groupes de travail ont émané et il y a un groupe de travail insertion emploi qui s'est mis sur pied ici il y a quelques semaines. L'idée étant de mutualiser les forces euh, au niveau des différents partenaires. Donc on s'est mis ensemble notamment au niveau du service public de l'emploi mais également des réseaux associatifs, des réseaux euh, donc communaux et euh, des réseaux même euh, citoyens euh, pour créer justement tout un plan d'action pour favoriser ce parcours d'insertion des demandeurs d'emploi et des migrants, enfin des futurs demandeurs d'emploi en tout cas des migrants qui sont arrivés ici récemment. Alors même si une offre de service existait déjà euh, au niveau du service public de l'emploi, l'idée étant ici de, de pouvoir réagir au flux euh, plus important sur la région de Moucron, mais surtout mutualiser finalement les expertises et vraiment créer une collaboration ici locale au niveau euh, de ce parcours d'intégration et d'insertion socio-professionnelle. Le de la formation c'est bien, mais moi je trouve vraiment la plus-value de notre service c'est d'avoir toute une série de conseillers, des conseillers qui travaillent dans des domaines particuliers, que ce soit l'emploi, la formation, l'orientation, la création d'activités, et où les personnes peuvent avoir un contact avec... Euh, le conseiller. Ce groupe de travail a mis plusieurs actions en route, notamment cette première séance d'information à destination des travailleurs sociaux, des, des conseillers d'agences intérimaires, des syndicats, euh, des opérateurs de formation, mais aussi des citoyens, des bénévoles ou des, des partenaires ou institutions de première ligne qui ont des contacts directs avec des migrants. Et donc on a rédigé ce message en, en commun pour avoir un message, je pense, qualitatif mais aussi compréhensible. Et puis bah, après ça, on a fait cette, cette animation qui sera qui sera commune, qui sera toujours, euh, toujours la même. On a prévu d'organiser 11 séances d'information au refuge, donc à destination des demandeurs d'asile qui sont accueillis là-bas. Euh, donc on aura une séance d'info par semaine à partir de la semaine prochaine, donc euh, de la mi-juin jusqu'à la mi-juillet, par groupe de langue. Et on présentera euh, donc euh, euh, plus ou moins la même séance d'information euh, qu'aujourd'hui, mais bon, simplifiée, euh, afin que, euh, que l'information soit la plus claire et la plus accessible possible pour que les personnes puissent vraiment se mettre en route dans ce parcours d'insertion à la recherche de la formation et de l'emploi. Voilà, donc ici vous voyez un peu, il y a 27 nationalités au refuge. Vous pouvez voir qu'il vient un peu des de quatre points du monde. C'est une bonne idée d'avoir organisé ces, ces séances d'information au refuge pour les, pour les résidents. Donc ça leur permet de, de, de rester là où ils sont et que les gens puissent bénéficier de cette séance d'information au cours du mois de juin et juillet. Et, euh, il y a eu un début euh, où c'était plutôt la question du, de l'arrivée en Belgique et la question de l'emploi n'était pas vraiment d'actualité. Maintenant, de plus en plus euh, de réfugiés demandent, euh, veulent travailler en Belgique et font la demande du, du, du permis de travail C. La création de ce groupe euh, permettra justement de, de de travailler d'une manière efficace, euh, donc c'est à l'avantage des, des migrants. So that was just to uh, to illustrate. Now I, I must tell you that the, the Walloon government took a law to oblige the newcomers to an integration path in four stages. Just let me explain what the four stages consist in. The first one is very obligatory. It's a stage of information where, uh, from the one hand, the migrant um, is, um, uh, learns about its, his or her rights and duties. And on the other hand, um, he's proposed a social assessment and just all sorts of information about Belgium, about housing, about health care, etc. Just to make him feel well in, uh, in Belgium, but also, I insist, rights and duties. The second, so uh, this is obligatory. The second stage is a language training, a language training of 100 and, in French of course, and 20, or Flemish, and uh, 20, uh, 120 hours. The third stage um, is, uh, uh, I would say, a training to citizenship. Well, here, um, 
we try to, uh, to show them the way of life in Belgium, starting with the fact that Belgium, like other of our countries, is a, a, an état providence, it's a welfare state. It's also a country where um, we have values, values like equality, gender equality, for instance, and so we try to make them sensi sensitive to this way of life, and I insist, uh, which relies on equality for them and for the others, will come to problems of discrimination to work later. And then the fourth stage, and that's where the PS has a very heavy responsibility, is entering the labor market. So it's social professional integration. There, as you see, we are a sort of crossroads with other partners. What we propose is, first of all, access to the labor market. Because in Belgium, if you are a refugee, you have the same rights as the citizens. But while you are in the procedure, uh, in, the, uh, in your case, you must, work, you must ask for a work permit. So Le Forum helps them to get a work permit type C, so it's for a, a duration of one year. Then, uh, for each of them, uh, apart from group sessions, which deal with information, after that, we deal from, uh, with them uh, with, in a very personalized way. And it starts with assessment, skills assessments, um, work project. And I, I know the debate has already started this morning. There are low skill, high skills, but anyway, those who say that they have a diploma, a certificate, sometimes they've lost it. But and even when they have it, we have to seek for equivalence with uh, the certificates and diplomas that we deliver in Belgium. So we have also a partnership with the Ministry of Education. Then for those who, have, who are low-skilled or middle-skilled, we proposed, first, we, uh, this is important, we want them to have a professional project, even if it's sometimes difficult because they deal with problems of housing, of poverty, of money, uh, of family, of, of ties, uh, which they try uh, to, uh, to, to, to keep with uh, their family uh, in their countries of origin, but yet we want them to have a professional project to be sure that the integration will, uh, will realize itself through uh, an, a social professional path. And then, of course, depending on the person, the project, we have lots of services in the matter of training, acquiring qualification or specializing in other qualification. But, and indeed this has been said, we believe in work first. So before entering long-term training, we confront them with job offers, if, if, it, if it can be the case. And so here we come to the issue of bottlenecks, of a job shortage. And some of them, like nurses, for instance, are able to enter the labor market uh, very fast. Some will say the language is not a problem. It depends. It depends. I, I, I keep the, the case, the example of the nurses. A nurse is supposed to be a technician, but she or he must have a sufficient level of, uh, of mastership of the French language to be able to enter a hospital, etc. So this is quite intricate. Um, some of them are, are, are so far from, from the labor market, even if they have a permit because of, because of a psychological or social reason, that they must first go to a associ non-profit association, which will provide some specific treatment, working on uh, psychosocial charges and so on. After that, and then uh, I, I will finish by perhaps the most important partner that we have. Uh, I, I am very short, you know, just to let you question. By the way, my colleague over there will uh, take part in a workshop in the afternoon and she will be very concrete and very detailed about this uh, integration part we offer to, to, to migrants. But just to finish, a very important partner is, of course, the employer. 
the enterprise. So in Belgium, the Belgian Federation of Employers have been very proactive from the very beginning to deal and try to integrate these migrants. Uh, for economic reason, of course, because as I said, we have critical functions, we have shortages, and, uh, and they think, partly they are right, that they'll find in this new pool, if I may say, of qualifications and competencies what's needed on the labour market in Belgium. But the big paradox is that this is an official, and I would say a collective, uh, approach of the issue but our partner for him is when it comes to individual relationship with such employer, the other employer, it is important that we play a, a part because it's not that easy to say, well, let's do the match and it will come naturally. Um, well, I think that uh, as a beginning, uh, I've said that the most uh, important. Yes, uh, uh, to conclude, a last word, just how the PS, which is a public service, approaches, approaches the issue. Uh, in Belgium, uh, at least, we uh, have taken the position of the mainstreaming. I explain to you. Um, we have three values, which are free service, of course, equality of treatment, and universal, universality of service, which means that we offer the same treatment to any job seeker, whatever his or her origin. So there is, to say it plainly, there is no positive discrimination towards the migrants. They are offered exactly the same services with the same quality as the others. That's what I wanted to say just for a start. Thank, Thank you. you very much for that overview.